Well, hello everybody. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and figure out how to find the diagonal of a box. So what that is, is it's a cross section, right? The longest distance across um, a rectangular prism, a cube box, whatever you want to call it. So that would be from this point, we'll call it A, to this point, we'll call it M. So to figure that distance out right there, this distance right here is what we're trying to figure out all the way across that long, long distance. Basically, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up having to use the Pythagorean theorem twice. I'll break that down for you. I'll show you how to do it, right? So, um, the triangle we're going to end up using is, let's say this is N, we're going to end up solving triangle A, M, N, this triangle right here. This is the triangle we're going to have, end up having to figure out all the sides for. Now, <clears throat> that is going to be a right angle right there. And so we're going to have to figure out what this is right here. So if I use the Pythagorean theorem for this right here, here's what we're going to have. We're going to have the hypotenuse, which is C, right? So equals A M squared. That's, that's the longest distance. That's C, right? And we see that one side is 5 squared, right? Plus this other side right here, which is A N squared. So this is the equation we're going to end up using right here. That's what we're going to use to figure out that length. And in order to do that, this is where things get a little tricky. Now, we have to figure this out first. So we have to figure out AN first. Now, when you look at AN, if you look at it, AN is the hypotenuse of the triangle that's on the base. So we can call this point B. So if you look at this triangle that's on the base right here, the length we need, AN, is the hypotenuse of the triangle ABN. So we're going to figure out that first, and we're going to plug it in, and then we're going to figure this out. So let's go ahead and move over here. So we got Pythagorean theorem, right? Always start with your formula, even if it's really easy, because it just keeps everything organized and lets you know what you're doing, right? So we know that AN is the hypotenuse. That's what we're trying to figure out. We know that the width is 3, right? Um, and we know the length is 15, right? So this side plus this side, right? Take the squares, so 225 plus 9, we're going to take the square root of that, all right? So we're going to use our calculator right here. There we go, so this is going to be the square root of 234. We're going to round to three significant figures. So there we go. <clears throat> so what I know now, with this distance right here, is 15.3. I know this one's 5. So like if I were to draw that triangle, um, this is what we'd have right here. So this is A. This is M. This is N. I know this is 5 right here. Okay? I know this is 15.3 right here. Do you see? So we had to use the Pythagorean theorem to find that out from the base, right? So now, let's go ahead and set up our, our formula right here. So we've got 5 squared plus 15.3 squared equals AM squared. So let's go ahead and just 25 plus 15.3 squared equals AM. Now you do have to be careful that you use your calculator correctly. <coughs> so we have the square root of... 25 plus 15.3 squared, 16.0962.7286. Now, if you're taking a, an IB test, sometimes they give you credit if you round incorrectly, if you write that down. But let's go ahead and write it down to three significant figures anyway. So the distance is 16.1 centimeters. So that's how you figure out that that diagonal length in a rectangular prism, a cube, or a box, however you want to call it. So first of all, you go ahead and figure out what the sides are you need, right? You're probably going to have to figure out this cross distance right here, this hypotenuse of the triangle on the bottom. Use the Pythagorean theorem to do it, right? And then take that value and plug it in to the other triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem again to figure out this distance. So anyway, hope it's been helpful. Have a good day.